Okay guys, we are once again out on the water, but this one's for a very specific reason. As you're gonna see behind me, this is the Boca Grand H2O Fest. And literally, you'll see boats all the way around us. So yeah, a little bit of a cluster here. Um, lots of students, lots of people that are out on the water today and I wanted to come out and speak a little bit more about um, some of the things that you would want to consider when you're moving here. Today we're going to specifically be talking about living in Florida is completely different than living up north. We're getting after that next. Alright, so as you can imagine, with the activity going on behind me right now, this video is setting up to be a little bit different than others. This is what you can expect on holidays. This is what you can expect um, on a busy weekend. This is something that we will have every single time that the uh, weather is fantastic here. We're going to have a ton of people on the water. I'm going to tell you, it was a bear getting out here. Um, the waves created by all this uh, boat traffic is ridiculous. So if you're not an avid boater, if you're just out renting a boat, you might have a little tough time with it. But that's just one of the things that we're going to be talking about, uh, about living in Florida and how it does differ from being up in the northern states. Hey everybody, my name is Craig Cunha. I am a real estate agent in Southwest Florida. If you're looking for a channel to tell you a little bit more about what it's like to live, play, eat, sleep, and buy real estate on the Gulf Coast, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell to make sure you're notified every time, and if you want to get your property search started right away, go to our nextfloridahome.com or use our mobile app, our Next Florida Home. If you don't get the answer you're looking for through the videos, then you've got to do what everybody else is doing, call, text, or email, because I've got your back when moving to the Gulf Coast. Okay, so we're going to touch real quick on weather because it is a topic. Everybody talks about what it's like in Florida with the weather, but the one thing they don't talk about is we don't have excuses for lazy days. So when you have all this sun, you can't just lay around on the couch watching TV, catching your favorite movie and all that, because there's the guilt behind it. When it's a beautiful day, you want to be outside enjoying it. So those snow days that you get up there, hey, they could be a very welcome thing for people like us. There, again, there's no excuse. But that's why I look forward to the football season because that does give me a reason to um, take a little bit of time on a Sunday and enjoy the games. Um, in the AC, obviously, because it can be warm at times. But that is one of the only escapes we get throughout the year. And one of the best things about being out is all this water activity. So if you're somebody that's into the water life and the activities, you'll have plenty to do here. We're gonna be talking about more of that as we go along. So as you can imagine, you can go ahead. We are out here drinking Miller Lite, not Bud Light. <laughs> Sorry, can't support that, but um, this example of, a, uh, of this party, this tiki bar, this barge, this is actually a barge out here that has uh, bands playing on it. People have been setting up out here since 7.30, and this is one of the things that, that you're going to gravitate to. Uh, people will be here all day. In fact, people posted earlier today that they got their parking spot and they were all locked in already. They can't go anywhere. That's why we're here as outliers. We have a little bit of, little bit of space around us because we don't want to get locked in. We can leave at our leisure, but it is nice to take it in to see all this activity and the water is so clear. I've got to show you this, hold tight. We're in about five feet of water and you can see the bottom very clearly. So uh, wonderful water today, wonderful uh, temperature. It's actually 80 degrees, 82 degrees. And, and that's the water temperature. In the, uh, the air, we're probably gonna be somewhere in the high 80s, maybe the 90s. So anyways, you can imagine with events like this, it can be a complete shit show. People are driving everywhere, no direction. You can see just all the, the boats just passing in and around everywhere. So it's one of those things that, once again, you have to have your head on a swivel. Uh, we had to pull out the anchors today, which I don't use anchors. I have the power poles, if you remember. And that is the easiest way. So once you're forced into having to um, do the, the anchors again, uh, Brad, my buddy here, had to end up uh, untangling all the lines to get the anchors out because we just don't use them. Uh, so preparation, you take a few minutes to prepare, you might have a little easier time of it. Now again, because we're talking about outdoor activity and all the things you can do here, our beaches are very different from one another. Um, Venice Beach is going to be different than Fort Myers Beach. 
Um, Siesta Key is going to be different than Bonita Beach. Uh, many of these places you cannot get to a restaurant or a bar on the beach. Clearwater is one you can, St. Pete Beach. Um, up, or, up around Anna Marie Island you can as well. And obviously Fort Myers Beach once it's rebuilt. Margaritaville, you saw that the other week. Um, and that is coming along nicely. It should be done by the end of the year. So those are the places you're going to go for the activity, the music, the food. Um, if you're looking for shark's teeth, a lot of people like to shark tooth hunt, go up to Casperson Beach, that's just south of Venice Beach. And if you're somebody into shelling, a lot of people like to go to Lover's Key and also to Sanibel. Now, a little tip for you is after a storm comes through, whether it's a tropical storm, hurricane, whatever, um, or if it's just a really heavy storm, you might want to get out to the beaches because I've been told you can get some of the best shells when everything washes up like that. Uh, that's not my gig. We've done the, we've done the uh, shark's teeth before, but shelling isn't so much on my list. But if that's you, those are the places you're going to go. Waterfront sunsets do not get any better than down here. Um, you've seen many shots of us on the beaches. Uh, now we're doing, we get the uh, sunsets on the boats. Uh, there's a tiki, a tiki hut uh, up in Punta Gorda. Um, called TT's and that is another fantastic place they have a bunch of uh, Adirondack chairs set up just for viewing the sunsets and there's always live music up there so if that's your thing head up to TT's now swimming the water in Florida is also very different than swimming the water up north you might recall I am from Erie PA and we had the one of the Great Lakes to go swimming in well the water isn't uh, as concerning up there because the things that live in it aren't really going to mess with you. You're not going to run as much of a chance of being stung or bit or something like that. We do have stingrays here so you are going to shuffle your feet if you go into the sand otherwise you could step on one. Um, jellyfish will come in it from time to time and obviously sharks. We saw one today on the way out um, so they are here as well. But those are the things that you're going to contend with in the water here. Up north, what do you contend with? There really isn't much. You can just jump in and have fun. Yeah, a little different, but it uh, it still is so very beautiful. Reminds me of the Caribbean. And for those looking to move to Florida right now, housing is still a big topic, but one of the things that Redfin put a report on the other day was that the inventory levels are reducing again. So the problem that we're gonna run into, prices can't adjust down as long as there's low inventory because that means they can charge higher prices for having less available. And the good homes, they do go quite quickly. If it's in great shape and it is um, cleaned up well and preserved well, you will find a lot of competition. So do not hesitate if you're still looking for a home in the Southwest Florida area because the good ones do go quickly. One more thing on pricing is that um, they the prices will certainly adjust, but if you're looking to steal a home, that's just not happening. Um, you can get some great deals. Maybe some people are impatient, not willing to wait any longer, but for the most part, you're not stealing a house. So get that out of your mind, get the best rate you can and secure the best deal you are, you're able to. All right, so yeah, it's been said that we don't have seasons in Florida, which I don't know, it depends if you live here or not, because technically we do have seasons. We have the no shirt season, we have the t-shirt season, we have the long sleeve season, and we have the jacket season. Yes, we do have jackets here, and we even have beanies and gloves. It does get that cold sometimes that you want those things, but that's how we rate our seasons here. It's not going to be according to accumulation of snow or anything like that um, but you will feel temperature differences so there is a little bit of a seasonal change here it's just not as extreme as it is up north and down here with some of the things that we have are are bigger and some of them are different so you've already heard about no seams you know we have flying cockroaches we have iguanas there's one that turned up in somebody's toilet the other day he thinks he left the door open when he took the dog out but yeah the iguana was in the toilet so we do have these things gators at the front door or in the pool um, all these things are going to be present i've had coyotes run up out of the woods in through my backyard when we're outside uh, playing ball so these things are real close to you they are going to intrude in your space and you're going to intrude in there so just keep an eye out for the wildlife when you're out and about especially if you have small pets or small children now there was a comparison done on cities um, one in Florida and one in Pennsylvania. So it was Orlando and Philadelphia. And believe it or not, in almost every category, Philadelphia was more expensive. 
one of the only ones that Florida's more expensive was housing. And it was barely, well, I won't say that. It was quite a bit of a difference in housing, but that's a recent thing that we've been dealing with. Every other facet of this uh, survey basically said that we're either comparable or more affordable being here in Florida. All right, so that is just a little bit more about living in Florida and how it differs from the northern states. And if you would like more information about moving to the area, check out one of these other videos. And if you've got a question that you can't get from the videos, you've got to do what everyone else is doing. Call, text, or email because I've got your back when moving to the Gulf Coast.